Hello, my little acorn crop. Well, it's been a little while. I was working on some videos that I'm hesitant to post. One was on Black Friday and Toxic Tears, um, and I'm just not sure if I have much crossover with their fans, so I've pushed that off. But in doing that, it won't be relevant by the time I actually make the video. So, my thoughts, in a nutshell, who cares? This is how they make their living? And little YouTubers like me would sell our soul for a sponsorship. Time to go to the crossroads. I hate it when people do what I've just done, which is waffle on about something and never get to their video, which I'm probably going to do a little bit more. But I figured today I would do something lighthearted and silly, so this will be an embarrassing story. Story time. To set this video up, I used to listen to a radio show called Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. And I think they're still on. Frosty left and came back, I think. Um, and they had a topic on their show that was, was there a fight that you had with your spouse that saved your marriage? So I'm totally stealing their topic from years ago. It wasn't so much the fight, but something that happened after. Kind of in my baby bat years, we used to game with a woman that, in my eyes, was a gothic queen. I mean, she was so gothic that she farted bats. She was so cool to me, and she even dyed my hair and turned me on to clothing brands and local shops. Um, I saw her on a regular basis because we gamed together. Tabletop D&D, to be specific. That's right. Roll for a niche, bitches. One day, during a lull in the game, somehow the topic of waxing came up. She liked to wax everything and even her kitty, as she would say. She was a stripper, so that totally made sense to me. So she talked about how wonderful waxing was, and how soft and smooth her skin was after. She had the kind of wax that you do at home. You put it in the microwave and warm it up, and then slather it on and use those papers, or whatever they're called, to rip your hair out. I, of course, only ever shaved. Being a bit of a tomboy, there are some girl things that I really don't know about or understand. I was assured that it didn't hurt very much, and my skin would be so soft and smooth. I went out and bought a wax kit, so it had the wax, the papers, or felt strips, or whatever those are, the popsicle stick applicator, and the wax removal lotion. I probably had it for a couple of weeks, waiting for some free time to try it out. One fateful day, my husband and I had a hellacious fight. I can't remember what it was about, but it was pretty bad. He decided to go to bed, but I was still fuming. I didn't want to go to bed, because, well, he was there. And so what I decided to do at one in the morning, I know, I'm going to try out my wax kit. I mean, it seemed simple enough. You warm up the wax, put it on the hairy parts, and then you pull the paper off and you rip the hair out. What could possibly go wrong? I microwaved the wax, and of course I had no idea what the consistency or temperature should be. I thought it was warm enough. It didn't burn on contact, so we're good, right? So I take the popsicle stick and plunge it into the wax, pull out a doll, slather it on my leg just above my ankle, and then I lay the first strip down. Cool. I think this is going so well. So I count to ten or whatever the package told me to do, and I grab the end of the strip nearest my ankle, and I time my breathing to breathe out while I'm pulling up, and rip. Ow! I thought it did a decent job. It hurt, but it wasn't bad. I had about an inch square of hair that was gone, even though the strip was like four inches long. Hey, it was my first try. Can't expect to be perfect the first try. So I dip into the wax again. I pull out another dollop, slather it on my leg, strip down, and rip. Five more hairs gone. Five more. What the hell? I consult the instructions, and I think I'm doing it all right. So I think maybe I need to try a different place. So dollop, slather, strip, rip. This time was better. There was a half inch square of hair gone. But again, the strip was about four inches long, and I'm laying down about that much wax. Why are the other three inches not coming out? That's okay. I've got all night. I hate my husband, and I can just do my legs an inch at a time. Dollop, slather, strip, rip. Five more hairs. Dollop, slather, strip, rip. Three more hairs. Eh, I think I'll try my thigh above my knee. Dollop, slather, strip, rip. Five more hairs. I'm starting to get a trifle frustrated with this process. 
Why did it work okay the first time and not any of the successive times? So I continue trying to wax. But as this is happening, unbeknownst to me, I'm dripping a little wax here and there, and I'm not getting it all off my skin as I'm pulling the strip off. So in roughly an hour, I discover four things. One, waxing is not for me. Two, thank the gods I didn't start with my kitty. Three, I actually do love my husband. And number four, I need help because things from the bathroom are literally stuck all over. Of course, I have got wax on my hands, and I try to use the wax remover lotion, but that shit didn't work. As I try to remove things, they get stuck to my hands, and some at some point, I had to shuffle over to the bedroom and utter the words that will haunt me the rest of my marriage. <clears throat> Honey, I'm stuck to everything. And I had to implore my husband, who was just mad at me, to come help me get unstuck. Which he did. He was very patient and kind to me, especially since he wanted to kill me a couple hours earlier. To this day, I believe the actions following that fight saved my marriage. Let this be a lesson to you kids. Don't you or your spouse go to bed angry and leave the waxing to the professionals. That wax kit went into the trash, and I never once thought about waxing again. It's Dollar Shave Club all the way for me, baby. Now, if I could just get them to sponsor me. Good night, wherever you are.